Out of control space station carrying toxic chemicals could crash into Europe next week and out of control Chinese space station carrying toxic chemicals could crash into Earth next week and New York and Europe are the most likely targets of the potentially lethal collision. It has been reported. The Cheyenne Gong 1 spacecraft has been out of control since September 2016 and could come crashing into Earth between the 30th of March and the 6th of April, according to experts. It has the highest chance of crashing into cities along a narrow strip around latitudes of 43 degrees north and south which includes a number of highly populated cities such as New York, Barcelona, Beijing, Chicago, Istanbul, Rome and Toronto. While most of the satellite will burn up during re-entry, around 10 to 40 percent of it is expected to survive as debris and other parts may contain the dangerous chemical hydrazine. Senior lecturer in aerospace engineering at the University of Southampton Dr. Hugh Lewis said, the spacecraft is traveling around a more or less circular orbit, which is tipped with respect to the equator at 43 degrees. If you plot this path on a map of the Earth, it produces a sine wave pattern with the slower curve of the wave in northern and southern latitudes and the faster straighter sections running from east to west. If you imagine the green low-risk area on the map is the part of the road we're trying to walk across, the quickest way is to go at 90 degrees, straight across. When the spacecraft crosses the equator, it's crossing the road at this point, and it does so really fast. When it goes across the red bands further north and south, it's crossing at a steeper angle, almost parallel to the road. It takes longer to cross at these latitudes, which is why it has a higher risk of coming down here. Predictions of Cheyenne Gong 1's most likely point of impact come from Aerospace, a US research organization based in El Segundo, California. It says the space station will enter Earth's atmosphere on the 4th of April, give or take a week. In particular risk in the northern hemisphere are northern parts of the US including Boston, Des Moines, Detroit, Milwaukee, Philadelphia and Salt Lake City, Florence, Italy, Monaco City and Sochi and Russia are also at risk. In the Southern Hemisphere, other cities which might be affected include Trelew, Argentina, Christchurch, New Zealand, and Sapporo, Japan. Speaking to the Mail Online, Dr. Lewis added, We can't say precisely where as we don't know which orbit it will come and on. At this point in time it's very difficult to say, if you take how far in advance you make your prediction, the rule of thumb for error is around 10%, at the moment, that's roughly 10 days, or 160 possible orbits, if we were to predict again with a week to go, this would narrow to less than 1 day, or 16 possible orbits, my expectation is that what little of the craft survives the atmosphere will impact the ocean, in recent months, the spacecraft has been speeding up and is now falling by more than 6 kilometers, 3.7 miles, a week. An astrophysicist from Harvard University, Jonathan McDowell, said, Every couple of years something like this happens, but Cheyenne Gong 1 is big and dense so we need to keep an eye on it. It is only in the final week or so that we are going to be able to start speaking about it with more confidence. I would guess that a few pieces will survive re-entry, but we will only know where they are going to land after after the fact. Aerospace Corp has issued its own forecast about the likelihood of being hit by falling debris, a company spokesman said in a statement, when considering the worst case locations, the probability that a specific person will be struck by Cheyenne Gong 1 debris is about 1 million times smaller than the odds of winning the Powerball jackpot. In the history of spaceflight, no known person has ever been harmed by re-entering space debris. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube. If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.